And our final 2022 court member. From John Marshall Fundamental High School, number 66, Janine Briggs. See that big gulp she took there? <laughs> she seemed surprised. Big day in Pasadena as the seven finalists were named to the 2022 Royal Court for the Tournament of Roses. Applicants from 24 local schools participated in the month-long selection process. KTLA's Alina Bovian is at the Tournament House, and she's got more on the big announcement. Hi there, guys. Good afternoon. That's right. It is official. We are less than two months away from the Rose Parade, and now we officially have a royal court. You know, 2020 was such a difficult time. We didn't have a Rose Parade last year, so these ladies, they really are incredible role models. They really work so hard just to be part of today. In a time of uncertainty, you are certainly looking at the next generation of accomplished and confident leaders, the 2022 royal court finalists. And here they are, the 2022 Royal Court for the 133rd Rose Parade. We have Janine Briggs from John Marshall Fundamental High School, Abigail Griffith from Pasadena High School, Nadia Chung from La Cunada High School, Jada Walden also from La Cunada High School, Suitha Samasundram from Arcadia High School, Ava Feldman from South Pasadena High, and Mackenzie Street from Flintred Sacred Heart. These ladies, they were hand-selected from 24 Pasadena area schools. The selection process, of course, it is a long one. It takes several months. They start with several hundreds of young women competing for these spots. They narrow it down to 29 and then to the top seven for the Royal Court. These ladies will go on to serve as ambassadors for the Tournament of Roses. They were judged on their ability to speak while well in public, youth leadership, academic achievement, also their commitment to their communities and to their schools. Members of the 2022 Royal Court will each receive a $7,500 in scholarship money. What was the hardest part in preparing for something like this. It was trying to stay calm because it was just such a nerve-wracking experience and interview after interview that learning to stay calm, it'll help me a lot in the future. I know that for sure. Just go for it. No matter what, just do whatever it is. It's inspiring. It's amazing. It's empowering. I definitely say go for it to anyone who wants to try out. And coming up on October 26, one of these seven young ladies will take the top spot as the Royal Court Queen. And coming up tomorrow, we will be back here in Pasadena to find out who will be named the Grand Marshal. In Pasadena, I'm Lena Bovian, KTLA 5 News. Oh, now starts the fun part on that deal. Oh, they're so impressive, aren't they? So articulate and smart. Yes. <laughs> and beautiful.